Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker! The finale! Yes, I don't care how long this episode is going to be, because this will be the finale, because there's really no sense in cutting it off at this point. So we're going to start off by climbing up this rope. If we can get up the- Can I seriously get up this rope? Crouch. Get up the- <laughs> Okay, the first second episode is, is caused by- Oh yeah, it's because I gotta jump off this. Oh my god. That's why. There we go. Okay, slow down. Okay, there we go. Now climb. Alright, in the last episode, we basically defeated the puppet versions of Ganon, which was the, well, uh, the puppet Ganon, and then it went to the spider Ganon, and then it went to Muldra Ganon, dwarf puppet thing, and the Muldra thing is like the hardest form. That's why I always have a hard time with it. And... There's, you can actually hit its face, which is why I kind of stunned it for like a split second so then you could try to like hit the orb in the back of him. Or you could just try to like be like a really good shot, like I tried to be, which sort of worked. <laughs> anyway, I uh, ended up getting a really good shot at the end, which I was so happy about. I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy, proud of myself. Um, but yeah, and that's basically what happened. We ended up fighting all those forms and it was pretty epic. And... Now we're just climbing up here to face Ganon, Dolph. Okay, let's get up. Oh, gotta get closer, I think, to this. I think it's only right there. Yeah, it's just there. And then we're going to climb up from that point onward. It's just making our way up here and hope to goodness I don't fall down. Oh, jeez, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is the finale. I mean, when those credits roll, guys, I don't know. I'm probably going to get somewhat emotional about this because... This is my first Let's Play ever, um, you know, it's, oh, pots, pots, wonderful pots. Camera angle work for me here, I need to restock my stuff. Okay, there we go. This is my, my first Let's Play ever, um, it's also the first time I've ever, um, basically 100% this game, ever. <laughs> I've never done this before, so, um, so this is gonna be awesome. Okay, yeah, I need- I, oh, yes, thank you for all those hearts. I need them. I just need one more heart. Give me one more heart. Thank you. Oh, love this game right now. Oh, it loves, loves to help me out here. Okay, there we go. There's the other, um, keep climbing up. Keep making our way up here. I'm gonna get closer. Look at these things. These things are huge. That's what she said. God. And once again, I love the architecture of this place. It's amazing. You get to go with like the shaftings and things like that, I guess you call it. The structures. This is the part that really makes me nervous though, is when you have to turn around like very slowly to kind of get over here. Okay, and we got some more pots. And um, yeah, I'm going to, not hoping I'm going to have to use this, but I'm going to blow up the pot here. And we got some really weird dudes. I don't know why they're over here, but they are. They're just kind of <laughs> last little defense is these guys. Come on. Oh, of course he had to latch onto me because my sword kept hitting the pot. The pot! And we got ourselves a fairy, which we don't really need because we already got ourselves loads of stuff, which I didn't have to use. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I could have, but ah, forget. And we're gonna burn the top of this thing. Normally I just bomb this, but you should be able to burn it. <laughs> That's nice. Or not. Why is it the bombing always works? I thought like you can arrow this, but maybe you have to be from a certain distance, I think. Bomb it and just get rid of it. There we go. I just wasted a couple of arrows and magic doing that, but that's okay. I think there's a pot over there and it's so worth it. I'm going for it and hope to goodness I don't fall down. But if I do, then there is the pot. That's kind of the point of the pot. Is so if I do happen to fall down. That's cool camera angle right there. It's kind of, um... Yeah. What do you call oh, fairy. Okay. That wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but that's okay. So you put like a random fairy all the way over there, just in case you need it for whatever reason. Um, yeah, they give you like a lot of op- Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. I almost fell down. I was gonna say, just be very careful, Mr. Don here. Oh my god. But yeah, I was gonna say, they give you like a lot of options um, to stock up on stuff. Like mostly like fairies though. You can't really get potions or things like that here, so it's mostly fairies, and fairies don't restock your magic whatsoever. So that's the only thing. It, it will stock health, especially if you accidentally die for whatever reason. Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. Okay, I'm gonna use the, um, the hookshot. 
There we go. Okay, guys. This is it. Say goodbye to this room. The architecture is so beautiful. Say hello to blue death. Holy crap. Usually you'd be like, wipe it's blue. Okay, this is, this is it, guys. I'm ready for this. Let's do it. I got a big grin on my face. I'm like, oh my god, let's do this. Woo! Here we go. So epic. My country lay within a vast desert. Oh my god. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my land, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. And look at his face. Oh my god, he's got like one little squinted eye there. He's like, what the heck? Must be the wind. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Death. Ooh, that's not very good. Death wind. It's not death water, it's death wind. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. Oh my goodness. Such an epic story. I coveted that wind, I suppose. You took the wind for yourself. It can only be called fate. It always is fate, the fate and destiny thing. It's always with it, always is, and always will be with Zelda. That here, I would again gather the three with the crest. Oh no. That I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. Oh no. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. Yeah, the gods that basically left us to ruin come down. Yeah, that's, it's beautiful. The power of the gods, the Triforce, he who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is true, it always has been true, but you don't exactly have a pure heart. Already the crest of wisdom is mine. Yeah, I see it glowing on her hand there, uh, no. All that remains. Oh no, he's got that look on his face, look at that troll look on his face right now. Oh, crap. No, you're not getting this. It's mine. It's my glowy, shiny thing. Don't do it. Don't backhand me. Don't you dare. Uh-oh. Crap. <gasps> no! Oh, jeez. Child of... Oh, jeez, that was close. Holy crap. It decapitated her. Child abuse. Do not fear, I will not kill you. This is so weird how Ganon is kind of being merciful right here. I always find that kind of funny. I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. Oh no. I don't want to give it to you. No, don't do it. I'm supposed to be stronger than this. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. I don't want it to end. We could be a great family together. Really? Oh no. No! This can't be happening! No, don't you do it too! Oh, I look so out of it. Oh my god. Here we go. So epic. The Triforce! Oh no. No, this can't be happening! You can't end like this! Gods, hear that which I desire! Don't hear him. Just ignore her. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Here's the thing, like, that part of the wish is kind of nice because it's kind of like bringing Hyrule back. But, I don't know. But then you see, like, probably like, what he says afterwards, but yeah. What about the gods ignore him? Give Hyrule to me! It was too good to be true. <laughs> Oh, you want Hyrule back for himself, of course. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Oh my god, you got totally owned! That is what you said, is it not, Gandalf? Oh my god! You are the best! Yes! King, the true king of Hyrule is here to save the day. Screw you. Gods of the Triforce, heal that which I desire. 
Hope! I desire hope for these children! Give them a future! Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule! No! I don't want that to happen either! Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world! No! He's just like dumbfounded, like, what the hell? No! So. <laughs> so close. Because he had the power of freaking teleportation. Take that! He did a freaking Goku style instant transmission right there. And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule! Oh, yeah. That is kick ass. He's insane. He's finally lost it. Oh no. I don't like this either. What about us? This isn't good. It did not bow well for us. Yeah, he's lost it. He's gone. Uh. He, I'm like, okay, I can do this. Ugh. I was like, okay, I'm back in action. I'm back, baby. This is foolishness. A future for you? That's right, a future for me and everyone, right? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Gandor? You're insane. You got that right, girl. You tell him. Link, I'm sorry I overslept. You call that oversleeping, girl? Jeez, I had to go save you from the dungeon, this is what you have to save to me? Ah, uh, we're totally getting it on after this, you know that, right? Look at my eyes. Look at my sexy eyes. <laughs> I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. I don't want to say goodbye. I'll never. We must return to the world above, back to our ocean. Yeah, that's right, our ocean, babe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at him, he's like, I'm all sexy, man. Very well, then. Allow me to show you. Oh, crap. He's gonna do it again. Don't back him. Oh, the swords come out this time. The freaking paper swords. Your future. Yes, allow me to show you. Just what hope you have. Oh, we totally have hope. We got hope, baby. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. Oh, it's worth a lot. It's on. All right. Let's do this. I'll use this bow to cover you. Attack him as best you can. Okay. There we go. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Ah, uh, oops, I was trying to do a jump attack there, but I guess it didn't quite work. You just gotta completely keep dodging him until she basically shoots him, because there's no really to way to attack him without doing that. And he's gonna keep doing this. You just gotta keep backflipping, essentially, and dodging. Until he gets to a certain point where he um, starts catching on to this. <laughs> you think he would probably get it at a certain point. I think it's like, uh, I thought he does like a lash attack, but he just keeps doing the same thing. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. He's finally getting annoyed with it. No, 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 don't do it. So he gets rid of the sword and he just backhands her. Like, he's not willing to freaking hurt her at this point. This is the weird thing about that. I don't know. Maybe it's like this whole connection he has, like, with freaking... You know, he likes the challenge, and maybe he's just the fact that he doesn't want to, I don't know, destroy the people that he's been, um, kind of dealing with for, like, a long time. You gotta remember, this is, like, the same friggin' Ganondorf, essentially. The same guy that was, like, in the seal, Ocarina of Time, and et cetera, et cetera, Link to the Past, all those kind of times. Uh, I think you yeah, just gotta keep doing this until she eventually wakes up, I believe. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, actually, no. You can just... Okay, ow, you kicked me. That wasn't very nice. Come on, 
think you get it. Come on, do the A button. Oh, break. Because there's a certain point where you do like the A button too. Come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to remember exactly how this part of the battle goes. I think you got to use... Oh, yeah, the A button. There we go. That's how you do it. And then you get him that way. So you got to keep attacking him until you do the A button. There we go. I was trying to figure out how that exactly worked. There he goes. Come on, come at me. Let's do this. Oh gosh. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then you hit him from behind. There we go. I was gonna say, she's taking a long time to wake up. And then she'll go do that again. Alright. The thing is, like, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna start dodging, essentially. And then she's eventually going to catch on. Come on. See, look, he's, he's catching on. He's getting smarter. It takes him a little while, or he's just like, it, it's like, it's kind of like, he's really, like, essentially toying with us at this point. Okay, let's, let's do the eight thing again. There we go. Oh, didn't quite work. I think he's yeah, there we go. He's eventually gonna catch on. Link, you have to distract him. Are you ready? I'll aim for you and use your and you yeah and you use your shield. Do you get it? I get it. All right, so I'm gonna try to aim to a certain direction, and you're gonna try to um. There we go. Right off the shield. Oh crap. We're gonna have to do this again. I missed. I missed. I gotta, like, it's almost like you gotta stay still for her. You gotta, like, get so far away from her and stay still. Oh, come on. Hurry it up. I think I so much time. The place is flooding. There we go. It's, it vibrates, like, so much. There we go. Ah! Boom! Right to the forehead. I forget that was the last stage. Oh my god. That is so epic. That, oh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> the wind it is blowing. Yes, the wind is blowing. Ganorf is turning into stone. Can I use that as a paperweight? Maybe he'll be like the gargoyles and they'll come back later on. Link! Oh, that took so much effort. I'm tired, can we go home? Uh, yeah, that's right, lift me up here. Oh, King, King Red Lines dude, hi. My children, listen to me. I have lived regretting the past. And I have faced those regrets. No, don't start talking about that here. Not now. We gotta go. It's flooding. I was flooding. You asked for it. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. Yeah, I know it. It really sucks considering he's the king and everything. I mean, this is really the first game that you really kind of, as far as I know, that you really kind of get to know him. You know, Ocarina of Time is kind of not really shown. I don't think, like, a past... Like, he was shown, but not really, like... I don't know, I think he's shown, like, near the end or something. I have lived bound to Hyrule. Aw, oh, so sad. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. No, don't compare yourself to him. I mean, I guess in that way, yeah. But you're the good version, I guess. Look at him near a stone. So sad. This is so sad. But you. No, they don't want to cry. Don't do it. I want you to live for the future. No. 
And like, like lots of babies will grow old together. There may be nothing left for you. No, there's there's you. Be the grandfather of our children. But despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope. Trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. No! This isn't goodbye. You seriously can't mean this. You had to come with us. Seriously. You're like instant transmission out here. Seriously. Farewell. N no! You don't have to go down with your land. No! This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Don't do it. Man, seriously. Please. Forgive us. Oh my god. Oh. Well, wait. You could... You could come with us. Yeah, that's right. Listen to her. She's w wisdom. R wisdom girl right there. W Driver's wisdom. Listen to her. Yeah. It works. Yes, of course. We have a ship. We can find it. We will find it. The land that will be the next Hyrule. So... Ah, but child, that land will not be Hyrule. No, it could be. You didn't drown it. I mean, I could have killed him and then we could have like surfaced the place, you know? It will be your land. Oh, crap. Oh crap, here's the waterfall. No, 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 this, this can't be happening. Whoa, I'm engulfed in a friggin' like air bubble suit. No, 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 where are you going? You can't go up there. What, what? No, 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 not me. Not me. No, I don't want to. I defy the laws of gravity and the friggin'. Don't you dare. Don't you dare le. No, reach out. You can do it. Do it, please. Yes, you're so close. Just do it. No! No! No, please. Can't get rid of oh, crap. You were my boat. You were everything to me. Don't do it. I have scattered the seeds of the future. Don't do it. I want you to be the grandfather of my seeds. This can't be happening. Oh my god. She's Tetra again. And we're floating. We're doing like the starfish, but backwards. Sort of. Whoa! Prince Kamali! What the heck? I have a little like, holy crap. Hi. Whoa! Whoa, don't ram us. And there they are. Hello! I guess. Oh, it's my sister! Hey, my sister. Carol! Oh! Yay! At least you're safe. And she's like, yeah! Wink! Woohoo! Come pick us up! Let's go. But I'm so sad. I'm still sad. How could you just turn your face to being happy again after all that? I'm, uh, I'm still feeling it. I'm still hurtful. Oh my gosh. And there's the pirate ship. And here we are. That's right. Pick us up. Errol so happy. We like saved the ocean world above. Oh! There's um, Medley and pretty make um, uh, Mako. Oh! Did I say Mako? I think it's Mako. <laughs> Makar, that's it. Duh, Mako. Uh, Makar. Staff credits. This is it, guys. This is the end. This is the finale of my Let's Play. And it's gonna be a bit of a long one, because we're gonna go through these credits, and I'm gonna go over my memories of the game. Hopefully you enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm definitely gonna say special thanks to all of you guys for watching this Let's Play right through the end. This has been an amazing journey for me. I know I started this Let's Play for you, for all of you who do not know, back in um, October. Oh no, not October. September. Pretty much 
this upcoming September is going to be my first year anniversary of this Let's Play, and I actually completed it before then. <sighs> Amazingly, almost, almost made it to my one year of this going on, but yeah, a very long time, almost a whole year this Let's Play has been, you know, going on for, so it's, yeah, that's why it's really close to my heart at this point. It's going to be so weird not doing this game anymore, it really is. I mean, there's going to be a couple bonus episodes after this, just to wrap a couple things up, but... Yeah, and you can see all those characters in the bubbles and stuff. I mean, that, that is such a uh, such a sad ending, yet happy at the same time. You know, I really wish that he would, you know, be with us, that kind of thing. Um, you know, the King of Red Lions, he has got to be probably one of my definite, definite favorite characters of this whole entire um, Let's Play, this game. Because I really liked how they betrayed him, how they kind of went a little, slightly more in depth with him and how he feels about his kingdom. You know, it was really, really tragic and sad at the end there. It truly was. You know, I was, I was literally almost into tears about that, and oh, it was chokes me up. But yeah. Um, so definitely special thanks to all you guys who have watched this, and I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play as much as I have. First time 100% completing this. Um, you know, I know I had to, there's the Tangle statues and stuff, but I don't, as I've explained, don't have a Game Boy Advance. If I ever do get one, I will, I guess you can call it, I will do a Chugga moment. Because <laughs> he, I know that he later on, I think, got a Game Boy Advance and did the Tingle Tuner thing, like, I don't know how long afterwards, but a little while after he completed this Let's Play on his channel. But yeah, no, definitely, if I did get it, I would go and show you that too, but uh, for those of you who don't know, and maybe just for me to experience it too, um, but yeah, and another special thanks goes out to Rap Snux, um, uh, my friend Nick. He actually allowed me to borrow this game because I unfortunately lost my copy of it, so I really wanted to play it and I want it to be my first Let's Play, and I said, hey, heck, why not? And actually, I'm trying to remember, I'm not sure if I had decided to Let's Play at that point or not, if that's the reason why I wanted to pick up the game. I think I mostly just wanted to play it for the sake of playing it again, and then I thought to myself, you know, if he's okay with me borrowing it for, I didn't expect to be borrowing it for pretty much almost a year, but, um, wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Nick, for allowing me to borrow this game for that long. Yeah, you'll definitely be getting your game back, especially now, now that it's been completed and stuff, and I'll definitely always have, um, memories of this Let's Play of, on your game, so. And you will see it, you'll see my 100% file when I give it back to you, so. Definitely a big thanks to him for allowing me to borrow it for this long. Awesome friend, awesome guy. Um, yeah, and another special thanks goes out to my husband, Legendary Plumber, for his support, you know, of this Let's Play, of encouraging me to keep going with it, you know, even on those off days I had. You know, he said, you know, just, just keep plugging away at it, you're so close, keep doing it. Not to say I was ever going to cancel it, but I mean... On those days, I'm feeling kind of down, things like that, and he's saying, you know what, maybe like just play some Waker or something like that. You know, he really was a, a great support, for sure. Um, you know, even at my channel itself, too. And also to all the co-commentaries he did. Um, co-commentating, co-commentaries, co-commentating on this Let's Play as well. So yeah, totally. And, well, I don't know if I'm going to run out of things to say. Excuse me if I'm going to go over the, how to pronounce these names. Because, as you all might know, I am absolutely horrible at pronouncing any names and just trying to pronounce names that are not from around here, that are Japanese. It could be a little bit difficult for me, but you know what? I don't think I have to do that because I think we're getting the name, the All Rights Included. There we go. All Rights Included, the copyright of the game, scenario music program reserved by Nintendo. Yeah, and there we go. Oh, I actually didn't have to. I got all through my thank yous and stuff right to the very end. That's awesome. And there I am. Me and Tetra. We're gonna be lovers. Look at us. Floating up there. We're so happy. So freaking happy. Oh. And once you get through the credits, you get to see this, guys. And we're back on Outset Island. And there's Tetra on her big boat. And I'm too cool for that. So I got my King of Red Lions boat, unfortunately. His eyes are closed forever, and it's so sad. He'll never really talk again. Oh, and this Errol, and she's like, oh, I don't want him to see you leave. But I have to go. 
The wind is calling me, Errol. I must go on another grand adventure, which some of you may know as Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> and I actually, I might consider doing that uh, game too eventually. Anchors away! Hold the tiller steady! As for our destination, the wind will guide us. That's right. Now show me that sunset. Oh, break. Whatever. I was gonna say, show me that sunset. I was gonna try to do like a Jack Sparrow kind of thing. Parts of the Caribbean. Now show me that sunset. Or whatever he says. Goodbye, Earl. Waving goodbye. What? I this time I know you're safe. And here we go. Off to the vast ocean. A journey awaits in the next Let's Play. Until then, guys, the end has been Missy Dawn 132. And this has been my let's play of Legendella uh, Wind Waker.